Hey uh, YouTube, I'm going to show you guys um, an update on the Samsung Infuse 4G from AT&T. Oops, take the light off, it's too bright. Alright, so you guys can see here, I do have Samsung Infuse 4G from AT&T. Alright. Yep, that's the beautiful widget app, if you guys are wondering. Alright, so, uh, settings. About phone. Zoom in here. Alright, 2.3.6. Gingerbread, as you guys can see. Alright, it's nothing much. Um, difference in the phone. Uh, with the update, not that much at all. Alright. Same everything on the phone, not that much big difference in it. Display and everything, emanation. The good thing is that um, what they did with it is like, say for instance, before on Frio, it would stop right here, then you gotta go back the other way to go back to your apps. Now you don't have to, just keep going. That's one big thing that they um, they fix, which is pretty good. Um, as you can see, battery notification has been changed up here. Alright, that's another good thing that I was changed there. Oh, sorry. Screen notification, actually, screen rotation actually works. There we go. See? Screen rotation works. So now it is working. On a Frio, screen rotation will not work. It will work in a call, but only in contacts. It rotates. So that's good right there. Um, they did take out the sap. I'll vibrate up here, add in, a f add in a fly mode. Everything else stays the same. Um, yeah, phone is back to uh, stock, so all the AT&T bloatware is back on my phone. So now I gotta go root my phone again and um, delete all this crap from here. AT&T bloatware. Uh, task manager. The only different thing that was changed under the task manager is that um, before you have one and two, and now you don't. And I think this um, this update is pretty big because 269. That's a lot. And it's not that much application is running as you can see. I'm, I was just killed six. Um, I don't have anything downloaded yet. Only beside Bully for widget. And that's it. And as you can see, nothing here is running. So, this update has to be a very big update. As you can see there. Alright, so, um, like I said, not that much um, difference was changed in the new update. But it is good, it is faster as I can see here because before it was kind of lagging at first um, this could not slide over as fast as it would because I pretty much did it the first day that the uh, update was released via keys um, but a couple of days later it actually um, actually was running pretty smoothly the phone was um, froze up a little bit like I said, it was lagging a little bit, so, um, 
now it is running pretty much um, pretty good so that's a good thing with it there um, overall it is a good update the only thing that I noticed that I'm not sure if any of you guys will have is um, USB debugging it's not working because um, my phone would have been rooted by now um, but for some reason USB debugging is not working and um, I will show you guys I mean it does connect USB as you can see it shows USB up there it is connected but the USB debugging does not um, I'll show you guys one second I'm gonna unplug here real quick as you can see it's unplugged and as you can see USB debugging is checked so oops wrong one I'm gonna check that real quick back out of it uh, USB settings mass storage actually you know I'll put it as as on connection good about the development enabling USB debugging alright so now I'm gonna go ahead and uh, get this back here sorry guys I can't see I'm trying to get it plugged in and uh, show you guys at the same time here one second So it said USB. Uh, guys, okay, I'm gonna um, take it off from the computer instead of the phone. All right, one second here. Just gonna head and keep it on the phone real quick. All right, so I'm gonna plug it from the computer. All right, so I'm plugging it from the computer. Just gonna go back into our applications here. USB. I'm gonna cancel it. Development. USB debugging. Alright, USB debugging is no, 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 no. Yeah, blah, blah, blah. Okay. We all know what that is, so we gotta do it more. Alright, as you can see, USB debugging is checked. Alright, so I'm gonna go up here to the computer. Let's keep the screen on here. I'm gonna plug in. It's gonna say USB connected. Other than that, no USB debugging, as you can see. There we go. Now it is recognized on the computer here, as you can see. Uh, see if I can zoom in here. Don't know if you guys can see that properly. Let's see if I can zoom in. Let's kind of focus a little bit here. All right, as you can see, there we go. Slave for remote USB storage device. So it is recognized on the computer as you can see so my computer is picking it up because I have all the drives but for some reason it does not turn on USB debugging on the device so um, so far that is the only problem that I have noticed with the new update um, so uh, yeah so now I just gotta wait until I don't know if, gonna, if they're going to fix that USB debugging. Um, so yeah, if you guys um, have that same problem, uh, let me know. If you guys find out how to fix that problem, <laughs> also let me know. Alright, I'm out.